Okay. Hopefully he comes back on. I, if anybody knows how to make it last longer than an hour, uh, let me know. I don't know how to do it. I thought I saw somewhere that you could uh, go up to four hours of there he is of live. But I said I'm the uh, tech monkey on this thing. So anyway, I apologize. Uh, I didn't think I would have to. I didn't think I would have that problem, Ryan. That I would go over an hour, but the little hey. timer just came up and said, "You got ten seconds left, buddy." Uh, Michael, My... how are you, buddy? Did we miss any questions from there just before? Uh, like, well, I, I want, they're, like, wrap they're up gone and now. I won't lie to you. That's ah. the with, I should set up like a. I don't know how to do it. That's my next thing is to figure out. You're gonna to see the become questions. one of those. Yeah, I'm gonna have one like of those like YouTube screen. crazy yeah. twitchers. <laughs> Here's my world. No, I don't think that's going to happen. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Who's Frank? Yeah, so Somebody says you're famous. That Who's is famous? Bubba. He's a yes. Jeff Lang. He's a framer from uh, Amory, north of uh, Shakespeare, Ontario. There you go. Good Stop guy. Talking to me, you're famous. No, I'm famous. You're already famous, Bob. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, so nuclear. Um, nuclear. With Bruce. The Bruce yeah. can ramp down and ramp up about 30% of its nameplate. Um, so huge, huge power production. I think, oh, geez, what is it? It's like, I don't know, 8 megawatts, something like that, I think. And uh, so it can drop, or sorry, 8,000 megawatts. That's going to say. So it can drop down to 5,000 megawatts and then work its way back up. But like to your point about, you know, fuel switching and going to electric. And come on, you can say hi, Emerson. Say hi to Bob. This hey. is my son Emerson. Hey, just buddy! Got back from uh, grocery shopping. Ah, uh, you look like you've got a bed, in, buddy. How he's old are you? He's a little tired. Nine. He must be nine. He's seven. He's oh, a big boy. You're, he's a big boy. Good. Yeah. Hockey player. One day, probably football, right? Football. Yeah. Go Bengals. <laughs> <laughs> Only because they beat my Bills. <laughs> that's right. That's your. I mean, yeah. that's. That's Ontario, right? You got to cheer for the Bills. That's how that goes. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, so the, the Bruce ramps down to 5,000 and it'll go up to 8,000. I think it's awesome. Um, small modular reactors is the next thing. Um, so we're talking like 400 megawatt little guys that don't need a big source of water to keep them cool. Um, that I think is going to be awesome when that happens. Oh, and Ella's joining too. Oh, hey. another one. Say hi oh. to Bob. Hi. Ella, how are you? Ella and Emerson. How are you? Yeah. Ella and Emerson, yeah. You got, a, you got an E thing going on. I have a, I have a cousin, or sorry, an aunt that named all their kids T's. So Tanya, yeah. Troy, Tate, Tamanda. There's like seven of them. It's insane. Well, uh, I'll tell you a quick story because, uh, you know, <laughs> modern medicine is amazing, but um, the ultrasound technologists are still ultrasound technologists. So my, my son here, Emerson, he was supposed to be an Ella. Uh, but when he was born, he was an Emerson. <laughs> We're not going to talk about it, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Except yeah. we already talked about it. Sorry, buddy. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so nuclear, definitely the future. Um, but yeah, to your point about, you know, fuel switching, if we're going to get rid of BTUs, we're going to replace them with kilowatts. And yeah. the lines that are feeding those towns are going to have to be thicker to feed those kilowatts in. Or we're yeah. going to need those BTUs still, right? Yep. So that i i'm not a crazy you know it's all or nothing go green and all electrify everything i'll do my best at doing it but you know i'm going to take a pragmatic approach to it in it where it makes sense and where it makes well, economic sense and um regular sense you know Daddy. does it actually is it actually going to work you're yes darling i know i'm on mommy's phone upstairs mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> And it's crazy the technology, right? Like, isn't it? We're te we're technically international because I talked to Nick last week on, and he's in the middle of freaking Texas. Right on. And, and we're we'll be talking to a couple guys across the pond in a couple weeks. Like, it's that stuff is amazing. Yeah, it is. I mean, like, so in the solar world, um, Australia has a big solar market. So I just want to make a quick shout out to the solar cutters. Uh, Jack Longy and uh, Costa down in Australia. Um, they're, that's one organization. So if there's any Aussie friends on here, um, that's one organization you can go to to get good referrals for solar. Um, they have the Ten Commandments of the Solar Cutters. 
so um, solar cutters is like the stone cutters from Simpsons. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, anyway, so they got the Ten the Commandments. Illuminati, maybe? Is that what's going oh, on? Oh, they're... Well, no, they, I can't say that were, word. We'll get banned again. Dang. Anyway. <laughs> wrong words. <laughs> it sucks. But yeah, so down there, they had this thing where it was, you know, bad people going around installing solar and then quality solar installers. So they made this thing called the Solar Cutters for the quality solar installers who want to do quality down there. So that is one area. The Aussies, you talk about worldwide, the Aussies are awesome at solar. Yeah. Wow, well, yeah. They must uh, – it's amazing. I saw a map the other day of how big Australia actually is, and it's massive. And yeah. most of it's that – whatever they call it. Is it the Red Desert or something like that? Yeah, like the Middle. Outback and – Yeah, the Outback. The, right in the nothing, center. There's nothing there well, as far yeah. as – uh, people are concerned, and so it seems like it's just a place to, I don't know, harvest the sun, right? That's for damn sure. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. It's all okay. about harvesting sun, Bob. Okay, give me your, give me your, uh, give me your best moment of the pandemic. Ooh, in in a like a facetious way or like a no? Like I'm gonna ask you your worst one best. too. Your best. Oh, moment. okay. Best moment of what the pandemic. What was the pandemic? best thing? What was the best thing that happened for you over this pandemic? Um, best thing was, uh, I'd say it was Feb, Feb 2020. Um, my email started dinging with the approvals for the, from this Climate Action Incentive Fund because that set up uh, you know, late 2020 and 2021 to be one of the most successful years that we've ever had at Crescent Ridge. So I'd say that, oh, that okay. moment there, you know, there it, it, that would be the best. Yeah. Is there a reason for that, or the, do you think it was related to well, what's going on, or, uh, um, or just your own marketing well, skills? I it wasn't my own marketing skills. I honestly just I I, I in that case I threw shit at the wall and it stuck. There we um, go. And and you know I'm thankful for that. My customers who receive those grants are very very much deserving of every single penny they receive. Those are hardworking, salt of the earth farmers for the most part that got that money. Um, and, you know, thankful to keep my guys employed during what I would say is the hardest time that I've ever lived through. Um, yeah. And thankful for being super busy so I didn't have to focus on the BS that's going around. Yeah. It'd be the same for me. Yeah. Super busy. All right. So the worst, worst event of the pandemic. Worst event. My father's death, which I mentioned to you earlier. Yeah. 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 Um, so my father passed away in uh, late, well, early December, December 8th, yeah. uh, recently. Um, he was going up north and a uh, bad snowstorm and a uh, truck came across from the south side, hit him going north. Sucks, man. And the grief okay. and the, the uh, trying to deal with a death during COVID is I can't hell. Imagine. I can't I imagine. Tell. Oh, yeah. Not to like flip it or anything like that, but when my mom passed, it was in 2018, and I thought repeatedly what that situation would have, how it would have changed if it was 2020. You know what I mean? I mean I'm like, oh my gosh, it would have been freaking awful. It is. It is. I, I don't want to say I'm lucky because I'm not, but I was lucky when my father died because restrictions and Omicron was just on its way back up. Yeah. Um, so we were able to have a funeral. It, I had to, it was so frustrating i had to vax passport my funeral just because my father was a fairly popular guy and we needed those numbers it was the last thing i wanted to do was to do that because i i yeah. don't believe in that but yeah um I, you know the thankful that you have, right? exactly yeah. it's, it's so frustrating that you're you know so many times during this pandemic i felt like i've been caught between a rock and a hard place yeah no i i agree with you that's exactly the uh, we've I, I don't know anybody that hasn't felt that way. Yeah. Uh, they've like, this is what I want to do, but I can't because of X, Y, and Z. And so unless I, whatever the word is, compromise myself. Exactly. Uh, I, I can't do what I want. And so lots of people have made that justification to do that. But that's yeah. awful. I'm sorry for your loss. And I can Thanks, man. Absolutely, I absolutely empathize with that situation in every way. It's a horrendous yeah. And uh, it never, for me anyway, it never goes away. That grief, that uh, loss, that hole. Uh, yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a scar on your soul that just Abs is always there. Just always Abs there. 
Absolutely. I mean, for me, like, it's odd because in my life, like, the last time I had a, a major death in my family was when I was in high school. It was my great grandmother and great grandfather who passed away within a few months of each other. And yeah. so it's just like you, you go through life, you know, steadily rolling through and everything's happy. The and then all of a sudden it's like, bang. And you, like, you just got that, yeah. Yeah. You just kind of head down and try to, you hope you get through it and you hope you get through it in a better way, right? Because yes. that's life. It's not always sunshine, unfortunately. No. No, nope, can't it's always not. harvest that sun. <laughs> Sometimes you got to walk in the rain. That's just how it goes, so you can enjoy the sun. Exactly. Right. Okay, so some, some very serious questions. Uh, yeah. Would you rather uh, visit your like go visit your ancestors or visit your progenitors or your like your great great grandkids? <laughs> yeah. Progenitors. That is my off- would you rather future, do? my offspring's offspring. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is a really off. hard. Hundred years so... in the past or a hundred years in the future? So it's such a hard question, right? Because you, you you think like, what's the future going to hold, right? And what are my kids going to be like? And, and you know that whole saying like, hard times breed hard people, easy yeah. times, you know, yada yada yada. So you wonder down the road, what's that like? But at the same time, with where I am right now, and, and part of the whole grief process is figuring out your ancestry and understanding that. And like, somebody's going to be gone, and I want to know that. <sighs> <sighs> you know, I, I'm going to say my ancestors. Um, I, I, I feel like as a father, not to, you know, toot my own horn or anything, but I do my best to instill the best values in my kids. And so I feel that with my influence, I know that they will pass that along and they will grow into good kids. Um, but I, I, it's, it, you never know who you came from. And so, yeah, I, I think my ancestors, um, you know, my son Emerson, his middle name is Thomas. And that is um, the name of my great, great grandfather, who was an engineer, fought in World War I. And yeah. uh, was born in Owen Sound, um, so I would love to go back and chat with him because I'm not an engineer. Hate that name, but I'm a technologist, and I'm assuming that you know I'm going to take the liberty have to ruin say their own name. Too. That's how it goes. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Not a bad name, but those guys are dicks. Anyway, exactly. Sorry. Sometimes <laughs> when you ha- find the good ones, you like latch onto them and chain them exactly to you, right? Right. But, yeah. It's so like, it's like a good woman. Once you find one, you're like, okay, that's it. Yeah, There's no one else. <laughs> Anyway. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that, ancestors, I think. Hard I'm, question, I'm though. With, I'm with you on that one. Okay, easier question. Uh, yeah. Ba- Batman or Spider-Man? Ooh. See, growing up, I was always a Spider-Man. Um, yeah, but yeah. my wife's very much a Batman and has influenced, has influenced me into Batman. Um, but, you know, we got new Spider-Man movies coming, whereas, you know, we've got the Batman movies that I have already seen. Ooh, um, I'm gonna flip it because we got future Spider-Man coming. So Spider-Man on this one. Spider-Man, and because, Spider-Man guy. Yeah, Spider-Man. and because OG, OG like cartoon Spider-Man when I was growing up and like the nineties. That was pretty good, right? That was good. That was really yeah. good. Yeah. That was my Saturday mornings. You're absolutely right. I'm with you on that one too. All right, yeah. uh, one last one. Uh, yeah. Olympic Olympic gold medalist or. Um, you are a Nobel Peace Prize winner. Which one are Ooh. you? See, Nobel, Pre- Nobel Peace Prize, although I'm a little contentious Nobel. about it. Sorry, I should Nobel. say it like, yeah. Nobel. I should say it not, I'm, I'm, I'm like a tradesman. Nope. No. <laughs> Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> yeah, right. Nobel I, I, Peace Prize. So, well aware of some of the politics that have played into the Nobel, Nobel um, yeah. organization over the last few years. But I just feel at its core, from history, the Nobel Peace Prize has, you know, moved society forward in very good ways. The people who won it, maybe not from the near future or near past, but the further past for sure. So I'd say Nobel Peace Prize for sure. Um, okay. But yeah, you know, not to discount the gold medalist because no, that it's, is... it's gold medalist for me because that's where all the women are. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard about the Olympic Village. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, one last serious one. What is the uh, uh, 
What is the one thing that you want your kids to know about you? Um, one thing I want my kids to know about me. If this was your last day. What would they? What would you want yeah. them to know? Um, how hard I tried to make sure that they have had not an easy life, but a less hard life. Um, um, so with my dad's death, one song I've been listening to a lot is, um, Billy Talent, um, their new album. I'm trying to remember the last name of the song. I think it's, anyway, it's the final song on the album. And, um, and one of the, uh, lines is I will be, um, I will be your, um, flotation when the river rises too high. I want to be that for my kids, right? To be there for them when they're in their time of need. Um, yeah, yeah. And so whether, if that's reducing the stress or calming them in some way, I just want them to know that that's what I've tried to do for them in their life is to reduce the strain on them that they don't necessarily need to be involved in or, or hear or see. Not to shelter them, but to, you know, keep it calmer for them. What I And I absolutely agree with that. All my kids are, you know, my youngest is 14, my oldest is 28. And so I can absolutely uh, see where you're coming from on that. I, will, I yeah. will add to that being a bit further down the road is that you will fail at that miserably because life comes for us all. And yeah. so your, your veil of protection uh, needs to last as long as possible. So your endeavors are certainly justified and valiant, but um, ultimately uh, will fail. And that was, yep. you know, when that was one of the things my dad said to me was, you know, I tried so hard and, you know, there's all these problems. And I'm like, yeah, but that's what, you know, if you want to distill it down, that's the purpose of life is to deal with problems. And exactly. Come out on the other end as intact as possible, I would say. And I guess, I guess that's kind of where my head's at, right? Like it's, it's, you know, teaching your kids how to work through the hard times and, and solve those yeah. problems or, yeah. or work through those problems um, yeah. while not having it confront them right in the face, you know? Yep. Yep. No, I think that's excellent. It is excellent. Yeah. That's what you want to do. That's exactly what my philosophy is. I have a 14 year old, so it continues to be that way. Yeah. But having seen, you know, some of the challenges that my 28 year old and 24 year old and 22 year old go through. And they're just yeah. puppies just starting out trying to figure out what they're doing. I'm yeah. like, Oh, well, it, you know, hopefully you can learn some of those lessons and apply them to the very specific problems that, and unique problems that they have in their own lives. So I yeah. think it's, uh, I think it's awesome. So congratulations on being a father. Congratulations on, uh, tackling the solar world. I think it was uh, an engaging con discussion for the most part. Uh, yeah. Is there anything that you'd like to add as I mean, a concluding remark? Holy yeah, God. I mean, like, so I'm not very active. Well, I'm active on social, uh, on Instagram specifically. Um, but uh, I, I'm not a poster. I'm not posting stories and stuff. So, I mean... Um, I have a wealth of knowledge that I love to share with others and help others grow in their trade. Um, so feel free to reach out to me. If you saw this, you like what we talked about, you have questions about solar, reach out to me. I'll respond, even though it looks like I'm basically not there. <laughs> you are, you're the all-seeing all eye, right? Yeah, just kind of <laughs> looking around, seeing what everybody else is doing. And, you know, I try to, like, well, that's, that's why I follow you, right? Like, I, I enjoy seeing other trades. I enjoy seeing what other people do because... I feel like that helps others grow. Is seeing and getting that breadth and that view of everybody, that helps you at your craft as well. So that's, that's, that's really where I am. And I just get too freaking busy to post anything. Yeah, no, it's, for me it's invigorating to be able to, to communicate and, and, and associate with every, all, the entire world, basically. It's fantastic. Absolutely. And Absolutely. So this will be uh, on... Um, Tomorrow it'll be on Spotify and Google uh, as a podcast, um, and so we'll mash it all together. So it'll basically be an hour and a half of chatting about solar and uh, some of the uh, a little bit of a deeper dive into personalities and whatever. And thank you for taking the time. I'm yeah, I'm delighted that we were able to chat as long as we could. I thought we had like 17 minutes of content. 
<laughs> well, I'm glad we didn't, Bob. I'm really glad. I, I, I was, like, looking through the Spotify list and, like, hour, hour, hour. We got to be at least, like, 45 minutes here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But, yeah, glad we lasted. I'm, I, you know, awesome conversation. Glad that uh, we could do this. And my pleasure to take the time to do this. Yeah. And we'll, we'll like you say, try and uh, if there's some new developments in solar or technology or whatever the case may be, you'll be my first uh, reach out. Or if there's something you want to, you want to add, then let's, let's do it again. Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe we'll do, you know, big batteries and, you know, five years down the road, we'll have solved this, all the things that we're talking about, right. but maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> It'd be a big, even bigger pile of steam and you know what? So, Oh I'm yeah. Sure the challenges will never will never end. There's no doubt about that. So that's for sure. Anyway, thanks very much. Thanks, I Bob. Gotta, I got to get somewhere at eleven, so I got to go have a shower and make myself presentable. But uh, yeah, I appreciate right it. Right on. And uh, look forward on all your social media channels. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'll be all over the place. Make sure you follow Bob because he's freaking awesome. <laughs> I paid him to say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Bob. Have a great weekend. We'll see you. See ya.